So the place where I go to get all of my robotics stuff is Patent Robotics. And this is the Teensy 3.2 that we use at my school. And then the best thing I think that the best board on the market by far, I think, is the Patent Robotics motherboard like you see here. You can buy the 3.5 motherboard as well as the 3.5 and the 4.0 Teensies here on this site. We typically use the Teensy 3.2 and the and the Patent Robotics motherboard for the Teensy 3.2. You could also buy my textbooks here. A little shout out to myself. All right, so let's take a look at what these look like. This this guy here in the middle is the Teensy 3.2 microcontroller connected to the Patent Robotics motherboard. It it is it it makes uh, connecting programming robots a breeze and embedded controllers so with um, physical computing sensors and things like that. It's super easy to plug in. We've got loads and loads of male and female pins along with power switches here. But if you wanted the, a little bit more power, the TNC 4.0 or the TNC 3.5 with the Patent Robotics uh, motherboard for the, for the 3.5 is a great way to go as well. So this is what it looks like physically. Let's see what happens once we connect it. Okay. And so if you have a brand new Teensy, you'll get the, the blink command, uh, the, the blink application running. You might have heard my computer make a little uh, plinky sound whenever this was connected. If it's the first time you've installed the Teensy onto your machine, or the first time you've installed this particular Teensy on your on your robot or uh, I mean on your on your laptop or if you've used a different port, a USB port, you might want to give it a few seconds just to do some handshaking. Let's see. So if we minimize this guy here, sometimes you'll see a little pop-up window down here that says the TNC uh, has been installed or a new USB driver has been installed. Just give it a few minutes and it will find it for you. But you can see if it works if you go to back to the Arduino IDE, go to Tools, go down to Port, and now you'll see that there's a COM port, COM4, where this Teensy that I have on my desk is now plugged in. So I choose that guy there. Okay. I'm just going to minimize this. And now you're ready to program. Before you actually start writing code, I would recommend that you create a folder for yourself. Here's one that I've created called Teensy Apps on my hard drive. And there's there's nothing here. It's 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 empty. So if we wanted to write a piece of code over here, you could. I, I would recommend storing it in lo one location. So for example, if we go to File, Examples, Basic, and Blink, this is a great thing, great diagnostic uh, application to run. It's, it, it is, it's really nice if, you're, if your robot's not working or if your Teensy's not working properly. This, if it doesn't work, you've got a problem with a physical connection because this always works. I won't go into what the code does, but it makes the little LED on the Teensy blink. And let's see here. So you can see it blinking here. And it blinks at a rate of 1,000 milliseconds on and 1,000 milliseconds off. If we knock that down, edit it to 100 milliseconds on and 100 milliseconds off, it will blink much faster. This code needs to be saved. Well, actually, you can upload it. Uploading is a little different than verifying. Verifying means that the sketch is verified but not uploaded, and you do not need to plug a microcontroller to do this. Now, notice that with the Teensy, you get this extra little window that pops up. I would just leave it. Don't need to close it. Uh, you can hide it if you want to. You can put it in a corner, but, but just that is the, the Handshake app in between the Arduino and the Teensy. And so we've uploaded our code. And notice now it's blinking much faster. Okay, and I can change. The first time you upload, it takes a few seconds, and the second time you upload takes much less time. All right, so this is working great, and you know you're off to the races. We're done. If you wanted to save this, for example, this is an example piece of code, so it's written inside the TNC architecture. So we can save as, go to File, Save As, and then find the desktop.
and you can save it locally in your own files. Save it as blank. And now you can see that now we have blank here. And that code and this code are the same.